Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will be learning about making your web URL short, creating a model, template, view, and most importantly, how we can share the URL over the internet with the different users or to your friends as well. Being a full stack developer, let me tell you, learning programming by doing yourself through the projects helps you to build the lo your logic and makes you out of the box thinker. Don't take my word, watch this video. My name is Rohan Yavale and I am very excited to bring this project video to you. I started this channel to help you student in creating plus learning plus building your resume for the next role. I create videos based on the Django, HTML, CSS, JS and the Python with the sometimes on the Postgres. Sufficient take for you to get or become a full stack dev. To do support this channel, subscribing and liking the video. Do share the project ideas in the comment section and get featured in the next video. So how exactly we are going to create this short URL project? Well, first let's understand how the flow or the architecture of this project look like. Flow diagram helps developers to visualize and create a workflow for their work, like which task needs to be solved first and which is the second one. Here we will be having an input field on the front end which will be taking a long URL, example like here at the channel URL. Then on a submission of the Django's form, we will process the request and return a response to the same page, that is a short URL. In the meantime, it will also going to save the long URL and create a string for the same. Here are the DB fields that we are using. So URL field for the long URL that we are going to take from the input field. Character field for the creating the short URL, that is a string. Then a date time a field for creating the actual time, that is a created time for the particular form or a field or a URL. Final output will be the domain or the local host or whatever wherever the server is running and the string we are that we are creating the for the given URL. First step for this project is to create a virtual, uh, virtual environment. Virtual environment will be going to help us to keep the dependencies separate out from the different projects. So I will be creating a virtual environment like this come with this command. After that one I will be installing the Django with that one. Uh, once this has been finished, uh, now I am going to create our project with the name of the project. Now, where this as this has been completed, let's uh, run this project and see the and see the output. Okay, this looks fine. Fine. So let's go ahead and create a new app for this project. Now let's import the first of all the reverse from the Django URL. Then after that one, let's import the translation as well. Because this will be available for us for the Ferrobus name or a plural site. Then I will be creating a, a model that is short URL with the long URL field that we are taking from the input field of the uh, front end side. Then short URL that will be available for user to share over the internet. Then a created field for the current time date when the this uh, URL has been created. With this one, we will be also creating the meta fields for the our Django admin side. That is verbose name and a verbose name plural. Uh, also, we will have to create a string representation of the any object that is we want to show in this admin side. That is a string representation. So I am keeping it as a long URL. Uh, with that one, I am also creating a get absolute URL for the detail page of this particular URL that we will see in the video. Let's create a forms. So to create a forms, we will have to create a one file inside the our project or in an app that is form.py. Once you create that file, let's import our form from the Django. And after that one, let's import our model as well. That is where from which uh, we will be creating our model form. So the name of the form I'm giving me as a short URL form. And uh, it has a class meta, which will be having a model short URL and with the fields that we want to provide. That is a long, long URL. Here in view.py, let's import a short URL form from the forms.py, short URL from the model.py, then import a string and a random from the Python. Then I will be creating one view that is an index which having the short URL form with the variable. Once the user submitted the form, we will be checking that if the method is a post request or not. With that one, we will be passing the data to our form that has been created already, and then we will be validating that form form is valid then we will be not committing that data to the database because uh, because we wanted to also provide a short URL to the 
our form as well so after that one we will be uh, creating a, a function that will be generate our string that is generate a short url for our short url field and after that one we want to save the data uh, and once the data has been saved we want to redirect to the detail page of this uh, application where the url will be shown now this view also returns a render method with the request template name and a context context is a dictionary which will be taking the form so template name is a uh, html template where we will be using for this view once this has been done let's create our next definition for the generating the short url which will be returning a string from the run random choices using a string dot ascii characters uh, this has to be from 0 to 15 so i am taking as this last parameter as a 16 so one is excluded after that one let's create a detail page uh, with the id because we want to see the shared url or requested url uh, which again returns a request template name and context which will be having in data now once that has been done let's create our redirect to url uh, which will be redirecting to the saved long url by default so we will be importing red redirect from the django shortcuts and providing the long data url So now we will have to create a urls.py inside our app which will be taking a urls that is requested url from the browser and provide redirecting it to our views. So let's create a url.py inside our app. Once created let's import our path from the urls django's url. Also let's import our views as well from the view.py that is index details and redirect to url. Once there let's add our url patterns and with the url pattern let's add the path and the of views that we want to provide to it like for empty we want to redirect to the index for details slash id any id we want to pass it to the details and uh, anything coming from the redirect and the string representing it will be passing to the redirect to url with this one make sure that in inside the project url you also had included our app urls as well like this one and also make sure that you have registered our app inside the setting.py installed app like this one Now inside the templates or inside the app you will have to create one folder that is templates inside it you can create a bunch of multiple html files now for us we will have to create a base.html and index.html and the details.html file or a view.html file you can say uh, inside the base.html you can see uh, we have only added the basic bootstrap that is bootstrap 5 from the bootstrap.com and we can change on any anything from here like title or a body or something that we wanted to have but we are here uh, using a body uh, block content from the ginger template uh, that is creating a dia that is i have for adding a dynamic content so that uh, block content will be available for us inside the whole the template that we are uh, extending the base template so here in that inside the index or html you can see we have added the our form inside the block and here we are uh, adding a csrf token as well as the our form so the view.html uh, you can see only we are uh, creating one url uh, from like a basic href uh, tag and providing the request meta dot uh, meta http host that is the local host uh, when that is a domain name basically and uh, redirect uh, url path that is from the url.py file now inside the final demo you can see uh, our website is running now let's consider that you want to share some url that is how ai works and a wiki page of it so whatever i can do is like i could say, uh, copy the url from the uh, search box like that one and i can go to the our website url uh, input fields enter it submit it and you can see we have redirected to the, our uh, detail page of it once you click on it you can either you can copy that one and share it to your friends or either you can yourself uh, click on it uh, and move to the uh, the website that you want to pass on i hope so you like this video uh, we have demonstrated the how the short url can be created uh, let me know in the comment section how, how do, what do you think about this do like share and subscribe this channel for the next videos thank you